barges, paratroopers, months of secret preparation put into explosive action. Patriots rose, suddenly Paris. That August day, the war for a moment was kisses and cheers and parades and glory. My veteran's name is Fred Foster. About maybe 20, 25, something like that. It's quite a while. 10 years? Yeah, 10 years. Seven. Uh, he enlisted right after 9-11. So. He was um, a Marine. He was, yeah, he uh, was a Marine. Navy. Served in the uh, Afghan war. My grandpa, he, had, he said that... Uh, he was behind the scenes doing most things. He was a naval intelligence officer, so he was in charge of uh, directing where planes flew and uh, what targets they would drop bombs on. So it was pretty cool. He has told so many stories, it's really hard to remember a lot of them, but um, there's a lot from when he was telling stories about people that were all running around, sort of like, Everything was rushed, but everything was sort of calm where he was, and then it was chaotic, basically, so that's how the story is included. So. My grandpa was um, able to make um, some kind of bedding out of like this, this moss and these branches, and he was able to sleep on them, and it actually kept him warm. And um, basically what that showed me and I, the reason why I like this story is it just shows resourcefulness and the fact that you know when these guys go out they really really do know what they're doing. He told me uh, uh, one time they sent him on a reconnaissance mission or whatever and um, they had about six uh, snipers, enemy snipers on a rooftop and they got to watch the uh, camera inside the pilot's you know cockpit as they were flying and they got to see him bomb it, so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, um, I really admire my dad for what he's done. I mean, it's really cool that he's a veteran, and I just appreciate uh, what him and the other men and women that are serving in our country are doing right now, uh, keeping us safe and protecting us, and uh, he's my hero. He really is. Hello, Linden High School, Sergeant Ortiz, 170th Military Police Company. Uh, on behalf of all of us here at uh, Bob Walton, Afghanistan, I'd like to say thank you for sending all the shoes. The kids greatly appreciate it, as you can tell by the pictures. So it's definitely making a big difference here. You guys are doing a great job back there, and uh, thank you.